Hello, my name is Gareth. You're watching the Hub Online Network. It is April 6th and we got another stack of stuff to go through. It's been a busy weekend. Stay tuned. This might do better if I actually had the camera on. Hi, I'm Gareth and again you're watching the Hub Online Network. If you would like to give me a call Today, you, my number is there, 250-457-0538. And we got a whack ton of stuff to get through. Let me just get rid of that. Um, everywhere from what's happening locally, provincially, globally. Um, so let's talk about everybody's least favorite thing so we can just get it out of the way. The numbers. <clears throat> so on Friday last week, uh, when I did my show, uh, the numbers were as follows. So the total cases had just crossed over a million uh, cases at 1,015,630 with a total dead at uh, 53,016 with serious cases hovering around 33,789 but total recovered cases at 207,011. Now, what does that mean for the difference from Friday to today? Well, upon refreshing my screen here, we are now sitting at 1,342,331 total confirmed cases worldwide, uh, 74,470 uh, total deceased, 39,480 current serious cases, and 278,607 recovered. So that, all those numbers keep going up, but the important one is the total recovered. Um, if you know anybody that has recovered from COVID-19, you know, don't give them a hug, but give them a call. Um, now, what is that, how does that translate into BC? Well, since Friday, there's been 63 new cases. Now that works out to 21 a day. Um, so that's not so bad bad. Last week we were looking at you know f uh, upwards of 40 or 50 cases a day um, roughly so 21 cases it looks like we're flattening up that curve uh, which roughly translates to 586 cases in Vancouver, 450 in the Fraser Health area, 79 on the island, 128 in Interior Health and 23 in Northern BC. So we've only gone up a couple um, in interior health in just a few days. So that, again, is not uh, terrible in con when taken into consideration how last week was looking. Um, so overall in BC, we have 140 people hospitalized with 72 of that number being in the ICU, but 783 people have recovered. So good job. Hope you're feeling much better. Um, now, I am going live today at three because I thought that there were council meetings tonight. They are not, uh, not because of COVID-19, because they um, apparently with the way that the schedule is this week, it just gets skipped. So next week on Tuesday, I will be covering the council meetings. The rest of this week, I'll be going live at four o'clock. Um, so I apologize for that mix up. At least it's not due to COVID-19. So that's, that's all right. Uh, now we have an update from a bunch of different places that I've been in contact with. So let's start with the Equality Project. Um, so, the, so the Equality Project has had about 15 to 21 people per day still coming in. Uh, they're open Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from 11 to 1 for this service. Uh, they say that uh, so these people are coming in for food, but there are also people looking for um, to other things like toilet paper, uh, other toiletries, stuff like that. So what they assure us, what Equality Project assured me was that they are working in teams of two to keep their social distancing. So in the kitchen, there's only two people working and at the table, there's only two people working and they're having that table so that there is social distancing provided. So they're able to provide the food, but staying far away from everybody. Uh, what they are asking is uh, if you have 
things like toilet paper, toothbrushes, toothpaste, that sort of thing. Uh, they're looking for that. They're looking for Mr. Noodles, uh, mac and cheese, granola bars, protein bars, and drinks like um, Ensure. Those drinks that have lots of vitamins, uh, protein, that sort of thing. It's like a meal in a, in a drink. Um, they say that the brand that people most like is the cut for flavor I would imagine is the Costco or Walmart brands uh, which I believe is Kirkland and Equate uh, Kirkland being Costco Equate being Walmart so if that's something that you think that you can manage um, they are taking donations Monday Tuesday Wednesdays uh, they are also now they didn't ask they didn't ask me to say this but I did ask them um, they do run on donations so to keep their building going they need financial donations from uh, the public. So if you would like to, you can go down and you can hand in a donation at the Equality Project, again, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or you can mail it uh, to Box 52 in Cash Creek, uh, V0K1H0. Um, and thank you for everybody that does donate. I know that they uh, really need the help, and they, but they're doing such a really good job helping out if they're helping 21 people a day, that's 63 people a week in just Cash Creek and Ashcroft alone. That's a, that's a fairly significant number. So, um, again, Equality Project, you're doing awesome. Keep up the good work. Now, talking about things like Equality Project, um, I got heard back from uh, Trish at the Elizabeth Fry Society. So, greetings Hub Online Network. You contacted us via, via our first Facebook page. Here is an update for you. Our next food bank is April 15th from 12 to 2.30 p.m. We are hosting this outside our office at 601 Bancroft, Bancroft Street as a drive through service. If people are in need, please come by. This service is open to the communities of Ashcroft, Cash Creek, Wallachine, Spences Bridge, and areas. Uh, at this time, uh, the only information we require is what community you are from and how many members in your household. Uh, now is the time to learn to lean in and lean on others if you need to. We are still providing service, uh, legal support, victim services support, and referrals. We are just not open for the public to enter our office. So please call 250-453-9656 and they can assist you. The food bank can always use donations, of course, non-perishable food items, toiletries, shampoo, diapers, feminine hygiene products, etc., and monetary contributions are always welcome as well. Please drop donations off uh, Monday to Friday between noon and 4 p.m. Just ring the buzzer and the door uh, on the door for assistance. Um, so she thanks me and you for all your support, and get that out there if you're able to donate. Uh, I also talked to Martina from Soups On, and she says that they are carrying on. Uh, she'll be out there again on Friday, and we'll have vouchers for people who come to to come for a to-go lunch at whatever restaurants are open. Last week, that was Central Cafe and Sam's Diner. Uh, she is anticipating that they will still be open this Friday, even though it's Good Friday. So uh, between Equality Project, Elizabeth Fry, and Soups On, there is lots of people getting help. Uh, they're all helping in different ways. Uh, so if you're able to support one or all of them, uh, that would be fantastic. Thank you so much for what you guys are doing at home if you're able to help. Uh, what else do we got? Let's go back up to the top here. Um, as a reminder, the, oh yes, yeah, so as a reminder, there was a confirmed case of COVID-19 in the Cash in Cash Creek. So if you were in the Cash Creek subway on March 24th, 25th, or 26th, please self-isolate. The infected individual was an employee, so if you had a sub made, again, self-isolate for the next 14 days. Um, so that's that and you want, some of you might be wondering what I'm doing on the weekends um, so what I did was I relaxed quite a bit I uh, watched a lot of stuff so what we did was we finished we were watching a show called Preacher um, we finished Preacher Friday night started watching Ozarks season three and we actually finished Ozarks season three as of yesterday uh, that was a very intense show I know a lot I've seen a lot of people talking about it online uh, I am personally Team Marty for anybody that uh, 
is keeping score. I think this whole thing in season three could have been avoided if they had just stuck with their plan. Um, anyway, uh, so I did that. Um, I beat the original Final Fantasy VII, which is a role-playing game for the PlayStation. Um, I'm preparing myself for the Final Fantasy VII Remake. So if you're a gamer, on the 10th of this month, the Final Fantasy VII Remake comes out. Check that out. Um, we started planting our uh, seeds. So for our victory garden, um, we have our inside startups going on with just little plots of dirt and our seeds in it. So we're going to grow inside and then transplant once all the frost is out of the ground. Um, and I pretty much didn't leave the house from Friday afternoon when I got home from work to this morning when I came back to work. So that was a really great uh, couple days off. Um, so, yeah. Uh, where are we now? So the Ashcroft patient cared during COVID-19. So this is a, a message from our local uh, doctors. Uh, so your health is our number one concern. To protect you from COVID-19, you can now see our doctor and clinic care providers by video and telephone. Uh, this allows you to get care while social distancing uh, or quarantined. After your video or phone assess assessment, if you need to be seen in person, we will make arrangements to do so safely. Uh, to sign up for a video or telephone appointment, please call 250-453-9353. Before your appointment, appointment, please see the website for tips on preparing to use video or telephone uh, for clinic visits. And please note, we are accepting new patients. Uh, we would like to introduce Dr. Stephen Akakumi, and I'm sorry if I said that wrong, um, as the newest member of our Ashcroft team. He brings with him a wealth of over 15 years experience practicing in Nigeria and Ontario, uh, supplemented by specialized training in women's health. Um, he enjoys the unique uniqueness of rural practice and is excited to join our community with his wife, a certified clinical laboratory technicianist technologist and his two children call for an appointment uh, so dr stephen akinkunumi if i'm saying that wrong someone please correct me because i know i'm saying it wrong and i apologize to that um but so yeah anyway new new doctor taking patients um So we are at a critical juncture in helping BC flatten the curve of COVID-19 outbreak. And so it's more important than ever that we all practice social distancing, physical distancing, uh, stay at home as much as possible and take extra precautions to help our communities get through this. For interior savings, this means making further temporary changes to our branch hours and services to help protect our staff and members. Please follow the link to read a note from the CEO, Kathy Conway, on the changes we will be making to how we serve our members. To my understanding, so that means that they uh, will be trying to do as much banking over the phone. I believe this also goes for RBC. I heard a rumor that they actually... Um... Hello, Joe McCat. Hello, Joe. How you doing? Um, uh, so, to my understanding, RBC and Interior Savings are have not locked their doors, but they're only doing stuff over the phone for the moment unless you have to go in. Uh, so keep that in mind if you have any banking that needs to be done. Of course, they're closed on Mondays anyway, uh, but um, just keep that in mind. Uh, also, as a reminder, the pharmacy is open. Uh, they are only closed on Saturdays and Sundays, um, but they're open from 9 to 5.30 every day taking your guys' calls and doing up your prescriptions. They do ask that you give at least one or two days notice uh, for harder to obtain prescriptions that they might not have. Um, but everything is business as normal at the pharmacy. And again, if you have anything that you would like to talk about, you call me, give me a call at 250-457-0538 and we will go from there. Uh, so, UK Premier Boris Johnson is moved into intensive care. And actually, I just got another message about this. Uh, they have moved him there. Originally, it was just because he was the 
pr uh, prime minister, uh, but he is now moved into intensive care uh, due to symptoms worsening. So Boris Johnson of the UK is in intensive care. Uh, the US surpasses 10,000 deaths alone. Um, Canada's uh, uh, Canada's top doctors say that homemade masks can stop the spread of COVID-19. So they are asking that you don't go and get um, these N95 masks. They are asking that you make your own cloth masks to wear and because they want to have as many of the uh, N95 masks for the doctors and nurses in the hospitals. So, uh, but they are saying that masks can help stop the spread of COVID-19, mainly because it stops you from actually touching your face. So you're touching the mask instead of your face. Wash them regularly. Uh, and this is also, so I watched, I just got off the, watching the um, uh, Bonnie Henry update. And she says that the, with President Trump canceling all shipments of, 3M masks and, and stuff that right now BC isn't affected, but it's, they're also uh, making sure that they don't just go through it all so that there is enough to last a while. So they're making sure that the practices that they have in the hospitals are not uh, just willy nilly with the equipment. They are rationing it out uh, so they have enough. Um, so the Canadian Emergency Relief Benefit is able to be applied for as of today. Again, they are asking that you keep to their application schedule, which I don't actually have in front of me, and I apologize for that. Uh, but to, so mon Monday is January, February, March. Tuesday is April, May, June. Wednesday is July, August, September. Thursday is uh, October, November, December, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you can, anybody can apply. But to not be inundated, they're asking that you stick to those days of your birth month so that you can get through. Uh, that being said, there's already been over 300,000 people apply for this benefit, and this is the benefit that gives you $2,000 a month, assuming that you are in impacted, laid off by uh, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, the government is asking that if you do not already have direct deposits set up, that you uh, do so so that you get your money faster. So people that don't have direct deposit, it can take up to 10 business days to get you a check. If you do have direct deposit, it'll take five business days to three to five businesses to deposit your $2,000. So keep that in mind if you are doing that. Now, last week, Jessica went around, and Jessica's actually at home right now watching our chats. Uh, so thank you, Jessica, for that. You are really helping out. Um, but she went around last week, and she, got a, she made a video of all the uh, stores and their hours and stuff in Ashcroft. So let's re-watch that right now. And... Uh, I'll give you the list of Cash Creek when we get back. Safety Mart Foods in Ashcroft. I'm sure they're even busier than they normally are. Uh, there's no change in hours, but they are making sure that there's lots of extra cleaning in a store. They're asking everybody to be conscious of their physical distancing. They've got extra precautions for the cashiers, and they've got fancy new stickers on the floor to make sure that you know where to stand so that your, their cashiers is as safe as they can be. So next time you're in, make sure that you give an extra special thank you to everybody working in the store for all the hard work they've been doing. Cheer Savings is still open here in Ashcroft. They have reduced their hours a little bit. The bank is open Tuesday to Friday from 10 till 2 and Saturdays from 9.30 to 1 and the insurance office is open Monday to Friday, 9 till 10 till 2 rather, and Saturdays from 9.30. Both Second Home Around Thrift Store and the Ladies Health Auxiliary Thrift Store have been closed for the last two weeks. They also have both requested to not drop any of donations off during this time and please keep them at home until they're open again. Central Cafe is open for takeout only. You can give them a call and place your order or quickly pop in and drop your order off. They're open daily from 11 a.m. till 7 p.m. 
Heidi A Pharmacy is open and ready for all of your pharmacy and prescription needs. They are available, only open now Monday to Friday, 9 to 5.30, and they are asking that you phone your prescriptions in ahead of time so they can get them ready for you and have limited interaction with people and you in the store. Uh, the Ashraf Barber is fully closed, and Unity Cafe is also closed as well. She is posting uh, periodic memories on Facebook so that you can keep your music fun going. Um, so check out her Facebook page for, for daily fun videos of past performances. Another business is closed temporarily is the Ashcroft Bakery so you all have to just learn to make bread at home yourself and possibly those yummy cinnamon buns. We did have a video showing Deb's secret so maybe you can watch that and get those cinnamon buns yourself at home. The liquor store is open still. They have hours Monday to Saturday from 11 till 6. They are not taking any bottle returns at all. They do have a limit of seven people in the store um, and they have potential limits as well on products. Fields in Ashcroft is still open. They have limited their hours a little bit. They're open Monday through Saturday from 10 till 5 and Sundays from 11 till 5. Just a few hour changes for Canada Post at the post office. They're open Monday through Friday, 10 till 4, and they're open a little bit later on Thursdays until 5 o'clock. They're asking to just be aware of social distancing in the store and requesting only one person in the post office at a time. NGN Services is still operational, but they're not allowing anyone into the store. You have to give them a call and they will place your order for you and either have you pick it up or deliver it directly to your home. Nature's Gifts in Ashcroft has changed their hours slightly. They're now open Tuesday to Friday, 9.30 to 5. You can call ahead and place your order and they can have it ready for you and either bring it out to you to your car or you can just quickly pop in and pick it up. The Ashcroft Bottle Depot is still open. They have changed their hours slightly. They're open Tuesday to Saturday from 10 until 2. So you can still drop off your returns here. Revelations here in Ashcroft has also closed its doors for the time being. And as Barbara did say in her when she called in the other day, do not cut your bangs yourself. Ashcroft Home Hardware has some reduced hours. They're only open from 9 till 4, Monday through Friday. And they are asking if you can to, to call your order in. They're happy to deliver it for you or have it ready for you for pickup. Um, so just give them a call. The Ashcroft Legion is fully closed for the time being. The Ashcroft Library may be closed for the time being, but there is still access to online books, either ebooks or audiobooks, through their website, tnrl.ca. You can access the Wi Fi as well here at the library outside of the building. We've got business as usual at Quality Glass in Ashcroft. They will be closed on Saturdays starting this week, but you can access them anytime during the week for any of your needs. They are doing extra cleaning procedures and ask that you observe physical distancing while you're in the store. Both gas stations and convenience stores are open, business as usual so far, takeout only at the restaurants. Thank you, Lisa, for uh, Jessica, for that. I don't know why I said Lisa. Um, <coughs> uh, so uh, you might be wondering what this OK uh, sign is behind me. So this is a thing that the village of Ashcroft came up with for people in their houses that might not be able to contact people. So in their windows, they can put OK or help. And people know if they are OK or if they need help. So I thought that was a pretty ingenious thing. Um, so thank you, Village of Ashcroft, for that. If you're just joining us, you can give me a call at 250-457-0538. You can tell me how you're getting through this interesting time in our lives. And uh, yeah, let's just have a little bit of a chat if you're interested. Now, so that was Jessica giving us the update on the businesses in Ashcroft. I'll tell you what's going on in Cash Creek. So, uh, Riverside Motel is closed. The Star House is closed. Husky Restaurant is takeout orders only. The Esso itself is open. Heartland is takeout only. Lord Co. is open. Sandman open. RBC open. Uh, Desert Inn open. Oasis is closed. Manny's is takeout only. 
Uh, beer and wine store is open. The Jade Shop is closed. Caribou Clear is deliveries only. And they're also delivering to Safety Mart and Grub Steaks. You can get your big jugs of water from there. Uh, Robbie's is open. Vet is open, but you have to stay in your car. They'll come out to you. Annie's is takeout only. DQ, drive through only. Subway is closed. Um, and apparently it's not closed from the government. It's closed because the owner thought it should be closed. Um, uh, Cash Creek Inn is open. Cal Tire open. Chevron open. A&W drive through only. Uh, BC Liquor Store open. Sage Hills Motel open. Petrocan open. Bear Claw closed. Cheryl's Place is takeout and delivery only uh, with reduced hours. Horstein's is open. Village Office is closed to the public. But you can call CAO Dawson and or Mayor Tallarico every day between 11 and noon to answer any questions that you may have um, at 250-457-6237. Uh, where are we? Uh, Indian Band Natural Resources is closed. Machine Shop is open. Community Hall is closed. Tumbleweed Inn is open. Sunset Motel is closed. The Grub Steak is open with reduced hours. Super Suds is open. And Junction Coffee House is closed. So those are your updates from Ashcroft and Cash Creek on how everything is looking if they're open and or closed. Um, and again, Jessica has definitely whooped me in this one because I still haven't made a video about it where she has. So thank you, Jessica, for everything that you are doing. Uh, now, what do I want to do? Serious or sort of serious? Uh, let's do it. Let's do the uh, conspiracy corner. Dun, dun, dun. Now, being uh, and watching the news as much as I'm watching the news, um, the other thing that is sort of kicking around are conspiracy theories revolving around the COVID-19 pandemic. And let me tell you, there are a lot. I thought that there was a lot for 9-11, but there's a lot for this one too. So um, because there's so many, and some of them are rather interesting, uh, I'll give you guys a breakdown once a day of just one of them, not going into super detail, but kind of like the cliff notes. Um, and this is not a scary thing because these are just conspiracy theories. So, uh, the one I'm going to give you guys today is, this virus was put in place to distract us from a large movement to arrest several Hollywood elites and government officials. A big push is happening this week and will create a global shutdown of the internet and phone lines for three days. This apparently will start tomorrow and go until Friday. Um, in these three days, all of the Hollywood and government elites that were, that were mentioned above will be arrested. Um, so, what this is saying is uh, all of these higher up people that have lots of influence are in on a specific conspiracy that I will cover later on this week. And they will all be arrested um, because of what they were doing. Again, I'll get onto that in a couple of days. Uh, but because of their influence and because they don't want it to oversaturate the market with all this news, there's going to be an internet and phone line shutdown for three whole days, which I find very interesting. Um, I haven't seen a conspiracy theory like this because the difference is this has an actual time frame as to when things will happen. Um, but if you have conspiracy theories that you've been following, please email me at hon at ashcrofthub.com and I will share them uh, in a couple, either this week or next week. Um, so that is that page. Now, um, one good thing that's coming out of all of this is the community response. So... Uh, that being said, there's a large group of people in Ashcroft and Cash in Cash Creek that have been that have sort of come together and uh, uh, made a thing. So, if you want, if you need uh, food and supplies delivered, if you want to telephone chat because you are in, you are lonely because you're isolated alone. If you need mail pickup, if you want spiritual support, you can call two five zero. 457, hang on, 457, 3422. This is the Ashcroft Cash Creek helpline. Uh, there are people there that are wanting to help you. 
Uh, the other place that you can go is uh, it's a Facebook page called the Ash Cash Clinton COVID-19 Community Info Board. A great group, lots of tips and tricks on how to uh, sustain yourself during this time. <laughs> um, th thank you, Naomi. Yes, there are lots of conspiracy theories, and they are quite interesting and entertaining. That's why I thought I should have a, a little time to talk about them, because they're, some of them are a lot of fun. Um, uh, but the people that are mainly in on this group are... And this is kind of small, so I apologize having to stare at the screen so intensely. Ashcroft and District uh, Hospital Auxiliary, the Ashcroft Hub, the Ashcroft Moving Forward, Better at Home, the CRS, Elizabeth Fry, uh, Equality Project, Hospice, uh, Hospital Friends and Family, the Hub Online Network, MLA Jackie Taggart, MP Brad Viss, Sage Hills Church, St. Albans Church, Villages of Ashcroft and Cache Creek, and many local volunteers. So there's lots of people standing by, so please give this call a number. If you need something, if you know of somebody else that needs something, please don't let your pride stand in the way of getting help. Um, I heard a story of a fellow that has not been eating because he just is, doesn't want to ask for it. So uh, let's make sure that those people get help too. Um, no one should go through this alone. Please call this number. And secondarily, on a way more serious note, if this is really affecting you and you are feeling like you are down in the dumps or if you know someone that is uh, very down, please, again, you don't have to go through any of this alone. 1-800-SUICIDE. Uh, let's not, there are people there waiting to talk to you. Um, so don't not call. And I have, speaking of calls, I have my first caller. Hello, this is Gareth with the Hub Online Network. Oh, hi, Gareth. How are you doing? David Dirksen calling. David Dirksen. How I'm good. How about yourself? Doing good. Am I interrupting or is this a good, okay time? Oh, no, this is a great time. What's up? Oh, I, I just wanted to uh, 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 remind everybody that... Uh, the the doctors at the clinic are really wanting them to work on their uh, regular health uh, programs, and so the, the, they are available uh, for phone conversations and consults or video consults in order to make sure that people are taking care of all of their other health areas uh, during this time. And uh, also the simple fact that this is a great time for us to build up our, our number of, of patients registered at the clinic so that as we pass through this COVID, we're in place to start moving into the uh, creation of our primary care network. So this would be a great time for us to be able to do both of those things, work on our own individual health plans and, and work with the clinic to be prepared for the things that are going to be coming as we go forward. Right. Uh, thank you for that uh, very important public service announcement. Um, my question to you is, now only because I haven't seen an update on the rest of it, is that the lab is still open as of today, right? Uh, the last I heard, the lab was still open and uh, they were uh, doing social distancing. They were limiting the number of people in at any one time. And uh, so look through the, the windows before you go in and uh, make sure that, that there aren't more than four people in there and then you can go in and, and uh, do it. They have the chairs spaced out so that uh, people are uh, uh, properly physically distanced. Right. Well, very cool. Um, yeah, it's, it's important to make sure that, that everybody's health is up to snuff in this time, so please do not not call the doctor and uh, <laughs> make sure that you have all your health stuff taken care of. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's one of those things, it's easy to let the little things slip because of the fact that there's this big thing hanging out there and we're not part of that individually. Right. right. Um, any other updates, David? I'm sure you've covered this already uh, from the uh, provincial update today. Uh, we have uh, 
been uh, we've kept our uh, active number of active cases level for the past 10 days, which means that in another two weeks, if we can uh, keep it either level or, or declining, uh, we'll be in good shape. And the uh, the active cases, the new cases have have declined for the last eight days in a row, and. Uh, uh, I, I was excited uh, to hear that. The other thing that I want to say uh, is that uh, I was at a, uh, a healthcare meeting in, in Vancouver in early February, and uh, Interior Health at that point in time had already done a, uh, a, a COVID simulation to see what would happen and how they could best respond and so I, I was really pleased that in February uh, our health authority was already working with staff and stuff like that to make sure that they were prepared for this and I was also pleased today to see that the active cases in interior health have gone down. Right, yes, yes, that, that, that was a uh, huge drop in numbers. So. Yes. Cool. Thank, well, thank you for calling in, David. Hope to talk to you a little bit later on this week again. Yeah, okay. Bye All right, now. thanks. So that was David Dirksen, a local Ashcroft citizen who's heavily uh, involved in the healthcare care area um, in Ashcroft and Cache Creek. Now, moving on, I talked about the calling for that and this. Uh, what else do we have? There's an update from the school board. Um, so this is kind of lengthy. I will try and paraphrase this as best as I can. Uh, so at a time of, un of uncertainty, communication is important, and the Board of Education would like to provide all community members with an update on the work being carried out in Gold Country, or not Gold Country, I didn't say Gold Country, Gold Trail to respond to the COVID-19 emergency. When the British Columbia government announced to suspend all in-person classes of kindergarten to grade 12 schools due to COVID-19, Gold Trail School District started working to respond in a manner that uh, meets the needs of students, families, and staff. So how they hope to do this is one, ensure a healthy and safe environment for all students, families, and employees, Two, provide the services needed to support children of our essential workers. Uh, three, support vulnerable learners who may need special assistance. And four, provide uh, continuity of education uh, opportunities for all students. Uh, the district leadership team created a uh, district framework for these four priorities. From this district's framework, each school created a school-based continu continuity of learning plan for their unique uh, concerns. So during the week of March 30th, families were contacted by a teacher from their school to discuss how learning can work for each child. The district recognizes that each family is unique and is working to create a plan and a way of delivering uh, learning uh, for the best way for each of their children. Uh, starting on the week of April 6th and going forward, families and students will have the resources and contacts they need to proceed when learning from home. Schools will access various alternative methods that are available for the delivery of learning. And that being said, there's actually a little uh, thing from Desert Sands Community School saying, Hello students and families, we have been thinking about how we might continue to connect with you during this time. Uh, one of the ways that we connect when we are all at school is to listen to stories together, and we can still do that. Check out our new page, Storytime, with staff to view staff members reading some of their favorites. Uh, this link should take you there. Um, I, if Jessica can't find it, I will put uh, uh, the link to the Storytime into the uh, chat. Um, and the government, um, okay, so at, at the school, at Desert Sands Community School, they are doing videos of teachers reading, uh, so it's one way to stay connected with the, with the school. Um, so, and then it goes on to, talk, to say that, of course, everybody that was on their way to graduate will graduate. Uh, anyone that was on their way to pass to the next grade will pass to the next grade, all that kind of stuff. And the district's next step is to include strategies to support the meal program that was provided at schools this year. I'm not sure how, it doesn't talk about how they're going to do that, um, 
but that would be great if they're able to support families uh, with some kind of a meal program. So that would be awesome. Good job, uh, School District 74. Keep up the good work to all the teachers and school workers and school board workers. You're all rocking it. Thank you very, very much. Um, now, as I mentioned before, based off of the Bonnie Henry uh, update today, there is no supply shortages in BC despite the US's order not to ship out of country anymore. However, using PPE in the hospitals should be used properly uh, to extend our PPE supply uh, for as long as possible. And Queen Elizabeth gives a message of hope in her fourth, uh, her fourth ever video update. Um, so she, I, I watched it, it was pretty short, uh, fairly, fairly to the point. I thought it was pretty great actually. Uh, my friend who's in the Air Force, every time I see him reminds me that we are still a uh, part of the United Kingdom uh, under the Queen's command. Uh, so I'm sure that he was watching that with some pride. Um, and yeah, I, th I thought it was a pretty positive message. And uh, yeah, so thank you Queen Elizabeth. Not that she'll ever see me saying that, but still, thank you Queen Elizabeth. Um, now, a couple more quick updates just before I move on here. I did that. Um, no, sorry, sorry. I don't know, I must have had everything covered there. Okay, so uh, last thing to talk about, last main thing to talk about today is some boredom busters. Um, so, uh, I saw this on Facebook and this is just a list of, had a list of blank topics and I put in my own personal, uh, things to do when I'm bored. So it said TV series. I'm going to say Firefly. So if you've never watched Firefly, it's another, oh goodness, what's his name now? Uh, the guy that made Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Josh Whedon. Um, Firefly, there is a, a movie, uh, connection closed by the server. Um, the book is Black Prism series. Uh, the meal recipe is apple pie. Song, album, uh, Jeff Wayne's War of the Worlds. Uh, website, YouTube, uh, Game Theory, The Completionist, uh, Cinema Sins are all great things to watch to kill some time. Uh, podcast is Joe Rogan. He does like three or four hour long podcasts. Uh, board game, Ticket to Ride, Nightmare. Uh, Nightmare is a, you know, watch this guy on, it's, Time, so it's an hour long thing. Um, and uh, the game only lasts for an hour. Um, the phone game is Pokemon Go. I like Pokemon Go. So those are just some things to kill some time. Uh, so please like, share, and subscribe this video. We will be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. right after Bonnie Henry's update. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you uh, next time we see you. And stay safe. Have a good night.